and where were you born? Buffalo, New York. And the name of your parents? Oh, <laughs> um, my parents? Yes, your parents. Oh, you have to wait. Well, I know them. Oh, how do you so know? So tell me, Grace? Oh, Grace and uh, Chester. <laughs> Floyd. Huh? Floyd, wasn't it? Floyd no. Benson. Benson. You don't know the name of your father? Oh, Floyd. Yeah. Isn't that his name? Floyd, yeah. Floyd. And his, his nickname was what? What? What was his nickname? Chet. That's right. Chet. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what what year were you born? Or what 1914. day? 1914. Okay. Uh, I think. <laughs> how about the names of your brothers and sisters? Do you remember that? I have Jane, Jerry, Alan, Grace, Pat, and Jack. Okay. Right? And what house did you live in when you were born? Oh, I, I think I'm going to stay up, you know, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not, I can't, I can't be sure about that. Okay. And how many kids you got? How many kids have I got? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, let's see. Isn't that awful? What about yourself? What church you belong to? Oh. Uh, First Assembly of God. I can't remember that. Assembly of God, Buffalo, New York. <laughs> What's the date today? Oh, God knows I don't. <laughs> what is today, dear? Uh, I, I, can't, I can't remember now. All right, forget it. it. Today's the 25th of May. Oh, yes, 25th of May. Is, is there anything that you'd like to tell your kids that's going to gonna stay on film here forever and ever? No, I don't think so. No, after you're gone, that me and Phil can watch, because we'll be able to keep this for for 20 years. You'll be able to watch this 20 years from now. Oh, that's something, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing to say. Not really, no. Well, no, you can say, uh, "Watch you stay with the Lord till the end of your life, until you don't don't leave Him." That's well, I do that thing. anyway, whether they had that or not. Yeah, well, this, you could say that. This is going to be on tape, though. We're going to watch this 20 years from now. I won't be here 20 years from now. That's why we're taping it. Well, why would you, you want to keep either. it for 20 years either? <laughs> you won't be here 10, 20 years. Your 2000 Raptor will be here before then. You watch. April 23rd, 1910. And, and your full name was? David C. Armsby. And you were born where? In a Volca, New York. In a hospital at home? Uh, well, it's too small to remember, but I think it was at uh, home. <laughs> <laughs> And you spent uh, some years in the orphanage, is that correct? Uh, uh, two years in one and two years in another. How old were you? Oh, I started about seven and then come out in uh, about 10 to 12, 13. And why were you in the orphanage? Oh, my mother couldn't support me, my father died. And what did she do during this time? Well, she was with her, with her, uh, with her sister and tried to work, uh, you know, to support herself, and, and then after, you know, so. Uh, and your father's name was? Floyd. Robert. Robert, oh yeah. And and do you remember him at all? Faintly. And what did he die of? Heart. Heart attack? Yeah, well he smoked and drank too much all the time. Did he chased women too? <laughs> well, that, that they tell me he did quite a bit because he played in, a, in an orchestra at, at night on the weekends, you know. And, what instrument and did all, he play? And all, all the girls went for him. What instrument did he play? Play the drums. Play the drums. Okay, and, and then tell me some more about your life as you've grown up. What, uh, after the orphanage, what happened? Well, that, then my, my mother uh, remarried, had a stepfather, that then lived in Canada. Your mother's name was what? May. And she married who? Uh, her name, his name was Valden Smith. Valden. Valden? Valden, V-A-L-D-I-N, -L Valden Smith. In, in Tandig we lived in. And what nationality was he English? Uh, well, whatever Smith is, I imagine. Okay, and then what happened? Well, I always, we uh, lived there for, uh, my mother wor uh, worked. Uh, she, she was working in a, like a small hospital for, you know, a private hospital as a cook, mm -hmm. and she had to quit, and that's why she married him. And uh, did he have a lot of money? No, no, he had a railroad job. Though. He had a good job. 
Okay, and then you went into the army after that? Who? You. Didn't you? Hear? Yeah, well, that's about 17 I went in the army. Yeah. How long did you stay? That was when the house was broken up. My mother went to the hospital in my house and he left. What? I, and explain, I, and I, explain what happened there. He divorced her? No, no. She she uh, she had a mental problem. She went to a, a hospital in uh, Austin on, on Lake Geneva. Had to stay there, and he there was nobody at home, so he didn't take care of care anymore. He just what had to leave. Whatever happened to him? Well, he went on by himself. He lived he lived in the firehouse. He, he drove a fire truck, uh, and a few uh, few years after that, then he died. And what did he die of? He had a hemorrhage on the brain. He couldn't save him. Okay, and and then what happened after you got out of the army? I come here, I live with my aunt up here. On what street? Uh, 144 Breckenridge. And then? Well, then I got a job at Dupont for a while, and then they 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 slowed up, and uh, they uh, they laid off a bunch of people. Business was down, so then I went. I had to stay with my aunt, and after that, I don't know, I just uh, roamed. roamed around looking for odd jobs, and then I met Mary. She lived at 182 Breckenridge. And how long were you married before your kids were born? Quite a while. <laughs> Wasn't it quite a while? Yeah. Not a terrible 15 long. years anyway, 15 years anyway. Okay, you've lived on uh, Galson Street all the rest of your life, right? Uh, we we uh, we before I got married, I lived on 92 Shenango. Yeah, that's and right. Then then we I got married. We come down here to live. In 1945. And your uh, employment during this time? My employment was full scale. And what happened? Well, they folded up, went bankrupt. And took your pension. I had 17 years. Yeah. Took your pension. Okay. If there's anything you could say to your kids or anyone else you'd want to hear, what do you want to say? Well, like I gotta say. Uh, uh, stay with the Lord the rest of your life. Don't 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 leave him and um, abide by his, his commandments. And, and what will that accomplish? What? What will that accomplish? Well, then you will be saved. You know that they were good Christians. You, you know something. you're going to be saved. You know you, you know. What would you say? I'm not on tape. <laughs>